All right, yo, yo, what's up, everybody? And uh, today, I'm going to show y'all how to fix your Xbox One controller drift. Now, like, I know there's a bunch of tutorials that are telling you different things, right? So this might just be one of them. But I tried all the tutorials online and like none of them were really working. The main thing I took from them was that you need to re-solder your um, thumbstick part. Like I'm not going to re-solder. So this is going to be the tutorial without any tools. And um, it's actually like really simple and it and it worked. So let's get into it. Real quick, I just want to show y'all, here is the controller, and then here is the tester, right? This controller would drift upwards when it was not in use. And um, it would happen like right now, it, it would not stop. So as you can tell, it's completely like fixed. All good. That is dope. So let me show y'all how I did it. Take those off. Unscrew the controller. Blah, blah, blah. Let me just take these out. Okay. So here is what I did. And this is like no soldering necessary. So I'm not going to do it again because I don't want to mess it up. But these green things right you open them and then there are these like black plates um like little circular plates and what you're supposed to do really is take those out and clean them but like i can't do that because one i bought tweezers and they are shite and two um it's really hard to get in there so what i did was I opened these bad boys and I literally drowned it with some alcohol just like all over the all over the thing so it really gets in those and then I took one of these and I kind of like fiddled with them with the alcohol soaked on them and then I blew it out and like if you cannot get this controller to work that is your go-to, I guarantee, because what it does is it clean, it like, it just soaks in there and cleans it, and, um, because you're drowning it, it's gonna just go in there, seep down on those, like, those plates, and just, like, carry the dirt away, and then when you blow it, it's gonna help even more, and, um, you wanna fiddle with it, so what I did was I opened it, and, you know, drowned it on that side, Kind of move the, the plate, draw it on that side. Same thing with this one. And uh, yeah, that's like pretty much all you need to know. Make sure that when you pour the alcohol, especially if you're using 70%, you let this thing dry for a good like 20, 30 minutes. Um, you know, you could even spray it out just to confirm that it's dry, but just make sure it's dry. Otherwise, you will fry your controller. Um, if it's like 91%, you could, it'll take less time, but yeah, you, you definitely want to do that. So if like none of those tutorials are working, do this because man, I've been working, this has been on my desk for like a day and it's kind of annoying. So, all right, I don't want to make this video longer than it needs to be, but I just hope y'all hope that this works for you guys and, um, if you appreciate it, y'all can subscribe if you want, whatever. But yeah, any questions, leave it below. Thank you for